So now that we know about interval size, let's talk about inversion. Inversion is flipping the order of an interval, or taking the bottommost note and putting it up to the next octave. And it's important for a lot of reasons. One of them is just because inversions of intervals sound like their um, their non-inverted counterparts quite a bit. So C to E in this case, a third sounds like a uh, a six quite a bit. It's the same notes. It's just that they're um, one of the notes has been doubled and gone higher up. So they sound a lot alike. Um, and when you know that, you can interchange them sometimes in harmony. Uh, and in an interval in its inversion, they always add up to nine, and that's because you end up counting one of the notes twice. Let's look at them um, notated on a staff and listen to how they sound. So over here we have um, a unison. It's the same note. And if we take one of those notes and put it up an octave, or flip the order, then you have his inversion. So a unison, same note, inverts to an octave. Here's a second, C and a D. I'm gonna take this bottom C, I'm gonna move it up an octave here. So now I have, instead of this, second C to D, take the bottom one up, and I have D to C, a seventh. And listen to the sound, right? They sound quite a bit alike. Same type of like, Uh, third, C to E in this case, I move the C up, and it's inverted, so C to E becomes E to C. These are used a lot in harmony. Thirds there, six. So they sound a lot alike again, um, and are related by inversion here. This is C to F, a fourth, sounds like this. And when I invert it, putting the C up to the next octave, inverts to a fifth. Sound kind of open like. And outside of more detailed versions of these, basically that's all there is for inversions. We just have unisons, seconds, thirds, and fourths inverting to the other intervals. So. That's the basic version of intervals based upon size alone. But we need to look at more than size. We need to look at the interval qualities or their specifics in half steps. And that's the topic of the next video.